Alright, go ahead, Brad. Right, what I created it was I took like a piece of bamboo and I hollowed it out through the middle. And then I drilled holes through it to make it so like how flute works, that's how you tune it, is when if you cover all the holes it makes the medium longer, so it makes the sound darker, which would be less waves because but the wavelength is longer, because like they're the shorter waves. And then so and then I painted it blue with like orange dots. And then it got kind of smeared because it didn't dry quick enough. But it, it looks all right. It looked better with just blue, though. How'd you hollow the whole thing out, Michael? Um, we took a drill, and it's like I don't know what it's called, but it's not like it's not like a drill like uh, the one that you had. It's like it goes all the way through and it just keeps going through. It's like a powder. It's like I don't know what it's called, but it's like a machine, and it has a thing and it just goes through. Okay. You can put something on it to make it just go through. Because you just go like this. So it's like... So it's like a drill, but without a... Without, it's not like a hand drill. Right, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then, so when you're making different pitches, like when you're playing it, so, well, it, how, how these recorders make sounds when you blow into it, it vibrates it. And that's just how most sounds made from vibrations. And so to pitch it when you're playing it is if you put your hands on like the farther holes, then... It'll come up. It'll come up the beginning holes, which will make it come, which will make it come up higher because there's it's short and medium. Put your hands on the front on the front holes and let it go through the back. It'll come out lower. Cause it's long and medium. And then oh, what was the last question? Oh yeah, it's just to like tune it. If you made it a lot longer and like you made, say you covered all the holes and it was a lot longer, the medium would be even longer to be even lower. Nice. So I know it broke, but can you make any sounds with it? Like did you hold the broken piece back in? Did you ever get it to make sounds? Because I know you were working on a mouthpiece part of it. Yeah, well I got the reed to go through. So like, this part, this part right here, it, when this broke, it broke off the part that I blew into with, that had the reed part. And then I ended up losing that in the garage. <laughs> so, but like, I mean it doesn't make sound anymore because it's able to escape through the cracks. Sure. But I got it to make, like it was an un, what's the word? And like, undomesticated sound but I could like control the sound. So like I can make it higher and lower. But it, so like, it wasn't it wasn't an actual note. No. What you're it, trying to say. But, but I could like control the pitches. I got you. Yeah. Cool. So it was able to actually make noise at some point. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Any questions for Michael? Alright, good job Michael. Yay!